Good afternoon, friends. Have you ever used your Instant Pot for mashed potatoes? I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do in the Instant Pot for two reasons. One, I don't have to worry about it. And two, I can cook them ahead of time, mash them and put them on the warm feature and they will stay until the rest of the meal is cooked. So Sunday dinner, I'm going to do my Mama's fried chicken. I'm going to do these Instant Pot mashed potatoes and gravy and green bean casserole, and then I made good salad for dessert. So the this recipe, the fried chicken, those will be individual recipes. So let's get started on our Instant Pot mashed potatoes. Inside of my pot, I have cubed, washed, peeled potatoes. I've got about three pounds, about 12 potatoes here. I have just enough water to cover them, and you wanna add salt. Please, please. Do not forget your salt. That is going to infuse some flavor in those taters that you need. Unless you cannot have salt, then don't do it. That's all we're gonna do for now. We're just gonna put it in here. Make sure your lead, lead. Make sure your lid is set to the um, ceiling feature. We're gonna put it on. And we are going to set it for pressure cook for 10 minutes. And that's it. And um, we'll come back when that 10 minutes is up. So our time's up on our potatoes, the 10 minutes on our Instant Pot. So what we're gonna do now is a rapid release. I always like to use the back of a wooden spoon. Take that pull it away from your cabinet so the steam doesn't go all over it. We're gonna let that release and I'll be right back. So our potatoes are done, 10 minutes, quick release. I've drained them, here they are. There we go. So now I'm gonna go in with my hand masher right here in the pan. I love to mash potatoes by hand. No sense in getting out the electric mixer when this will do the job just as fine. Give it a little bit of elbow grease, that's all you need. Steaming up my glasses. Look like I'm in a 1980s hair band video. Got that in. Got that done. Mashed up there. Got a half a stick of butter. You want more? You want less? That's fine. Do whatever you would like. Let me grab a spoon here. Got some heavy cream. You can use milk. Some people like evaporated milk, some people like heavy cream. You can do whatever you want. If I can never get this open. I like to just pour in a little at a time. That's probably about two tablespoons. Get this glove because this is hot. It's almost too tall for me to see. All right, get that butter incorporated in there and melted. Get that cream in there. Get my arm workout. Need a little bit more heavy cream. Go with a little bit more that time. Just give them a quick stir. The consistency that you like. Push down the sides. And that's it, our taters are done. Look at those, I'm gonna give them a taste. I'm gonna add some black pepper, of course, and then I'm gonna try them before I add any salt. Need a little bit more salt. Added quite a bit of salt if you remember when I cooked those. This was so easy, convenient. I didn't have to worry about them boiling over while I was doing other things. Didn't have to wash them, babysit them. Now this is the best part. I'm gonna take them and put them right back in. Save my spoon for later. Put them right back in the pressure cooker. It's set on warm feature. Put that lid back on. 
and they are ready till we get ready for dinner. And I don't have to worry about them. They will do perfectly fine on that warm mode. They won't get sticky, they won't get nasty. And that's it, mashed potatoes in the pressure cooker. Try it, you'll love it. Perfect for Thanksgiving, Christmas, all of those meals where you need to get a step out and have room for your stove, because I'm getting ready to fry my mom's fried chicken. So you'll want to stay tuned for that recipe. All right, have a good day, friends. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.